Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this will be a, another review of a couple of, I believe these are materials extensions for Morgborg. So I believe I found these at a local RPG store, and this one is uh, Morgborg Cult, and this is Morgborg Heretic, I believe. So more board cult heretic. So I'm not sure if this one is spin off of this one or connected. But anyways, these are not standalone games. These are uh, they have a bunch of uh, resources and basically more uh, world building elements. So let's focus on Morg Borg Cult, which is the first one I picked up. So as you as usual with the theme, um, the first essential page here is a fold out with some tables so keeping the table concept going pretty strong with Borg Borg or any Borg related content you have monster approaches you have uh, the dice you rolled here there's more tables terrible traits so all pretty good stuff to start your road to damnation so I think we're starting to get into uh, some settings here some world settings so you have a map here you have travel time between locations on the map. You have more tables. Um, then you have more tables following that. So we have spending a day foraging the village, leaving the road after half its journey. So still, there's plenty of tables, which, as I mentioned before, I really do like how the Borg how Borg material, whether it's made from the actual company that made Borg, like I think it's freely distributed, but you know, these are made by I think other parties. I could be mistaken, these are actually straight from uh, the creator of Morg Borg. I need to look that up later, but in any event, anything that's Borg related usually has a lot of great art, great tables, and very everything's very compact. So we have some graphics here of a, of a large spider, looks like winding up um, another creature and you have more tables here so these are great as i call them extensions because they have so much more material while these two are connected to more board now as a note for uh my casual viewers i have finally found a physical copy of more board games being shipped in here very soon within the week so i'm going to start playing that because that's the first board game i'm waiting for to really try out because it's the first one I came across online before i started running into the other uh physical board games like cyborgs uh, orc board uh, pirates board i'm more interested in playing more because that one's more hardcore fantasy so and as you see i'm sorry as i drifted away from this what we're looking at here we have more uh more material here more content for the specific setting or creatures it looks like these are all very very creative and very good well drawn so and like i mentioned these are these are not standalone games but they do claim to work uh for borg and anything relevant you could essentially adapt this to really any rpg i, I believe if you if you know how to if there are settings you need to uh stats you need to convert but you could essentially use the core details of these creatures that we come across over there already. Uh, here's more tables that come with uh, navigating the ruins. This could come in handy for people who play solo, like myself. Uh, you have uh, D10 room types. You have searching the ruins, 15 minutes. Random tables, roll once per hex. Minor treasures, major treasures. So I've so got some groups here. Monsters and NPCs. Ah, here we go. I, I'm always a fan of the larger tables. So this is a D100 list of trinkets, items and trinkets. So small things that you can find alongside an actual valuable item when you when you loot something or someone. So as I need to verify that this is actually it looks like it's made from the creators of let's i'm going to grab the pirate board because that is the 
that was the first board game I come across. So here's Pirate Board. Now again, I'm not I'm not too familiar with the makers of Pirate Board, but I want to make sure I have my sources right. So here, here are the front pages. We have Limit Run, compatible with Mork Borg. I don't see this this company, this distributor on the face here. Let's compare pages, shall we? So looks like yeah, I don't see could be on the back. No, it's just in the front. But written, illustrated, and layout by Luke Stratton and Limit Run. Limit Brown. And then there's also I also have the cyborg. which is far more colorful in comparison. So that's just uh, doing a little comparison here for anyone who's interested. I see the name, I see the name, uh, some changes here. This is the cyborg one. See, this one says free league. Cyborg.io. So, it, I kind of get the feeling that, that there are different entities that use the Borg name, whether or not they're actually linked together, but it's not really too important to me. It's just that they are very consistent with having very exotic designs and uh, a bunch of tables on the insides, like this one, like these two, which we've already talked about in a separate video. So, Again, I do apologize. I'm not like a, I'm not like a professional reviewer, so I'm not. See, Free League Publishing did they, did these two here, but we have the two different companies that most likely made these books or actually wrote them. So we have uh, Stockholm Cartel, I think, and then this one is Limit Brown. But Free League it was the distributor at the at the end of the day. So, back to these two. Like I said, I'm not professional reviewing these products. I'm just just exploring them. But let's go back to the uh, Bolt one here, which we were past the spider. Okay, so we're hitting more creatures now, different settings. So a lot of these will really work well to spark ideas. And they all have stats. Like I said, these have stats that are in line with Mork's board. There's a good little hex you can use as a map. More tables having in the ruins. I think this is where we left off before I went on a little detour. But... Yeah, I think I went a little too far back. Monsters NPCs. These are scenarios, looks like. To correct myself. Characters of note. The Bastard. Miguel Kratt. I think that's a Q. Q -arg. Yeah, that's a Q. So, the one thing that throws me off pretty cons constantly is the font that will throw me off a lot um but i do really enjoy these just to read through them so we're about at the end now but here we got some looks like we got some items Snort dagger on top of whatever Mork Burke already has. And again, I'm, I'm waiting to get it actual physical form, not a digital copy. I'd rather actually hold it, but obviously, finishing off with some artwork and more tables. But this is the final page that's kind of cool. It has a little uh, this little reflector here. So if you turn the picture a bit, it will look like it's doing something that's pretty neat. 
Okay, so that's the first one out of the two I've, I've come across. There's some stuff in the back here to continue on the scenario. So the this that's the extension for Mork for Cult. Then we have, I think this one's called Mork for Cult Heretic. So this one, ironically, has the same two Stockholm cartel references from earlier that I missed. And I think that goes in line with, um, yep, so it looks like these have some kind of connection with, with the makers. That's good. Okay, so let's go to, let's go through Heretic. Very, very good start. This will be focused on cultists. We have some, uh, we have a name generator in a way, the cult, key members, headquarters, this cool graphic right here, the candle. Heretic. And then, let's see, we have roll 60D66. Great artwork, really, really great artwork. So like I mentioned before, if you guys are, if you are a Borg fan, I recommend hoarding as much as you can when it comes to these, this kind of material, anything Borg related. Now oh, here's a cool map of, looks like a graveyard of sorts, of the graveyard. So you could take a character through here. Looks like there's some markers. The stranded tree, original orange and fountain. It's a pretty simple map. Yeah, not to scale. That's that's pretty funny. The graveyard. So it it gives you a map and it gives you a scenario and options and tables to kind of have a little mini one shot perhaps, <clears throat> or in addition to your current existing campaign. So. And even you can even continue on these pages. So let's say the stranded tree is page 29. When you're walking the trails, we get here. Page 29 is going to be back here. So this is the stranded tree. Gives some lore or some happenings of this tree. Gives you a little visual of what happens in the story. Let's go back to the graveyard section here. So pretty good content. This this one is, uh, well, at least this section is more clean. That's apparent. Font is easier to read. But it looks like it's just made in the graveyard section. And now we're at the, this section here. Graves left wanting. So... I don't know if this is the actual grave. I think this is the continuation of the graveyard scenario. So, yep, this is we were at here earlier. Bloat. Okay, so a new section here. We have this little, this underground, this this dungeon with plenty to, plenty to explore. Well. I, you know, this book could be used for solo, but if you are a DM, this could be a pretty essential tool to have in your in your in your inventory. Essentially, you can use this. You can have it behind your, you know, your if there is a Mork Borg uh, GM shield. But this could be a good little thing you can you can flip through. You don't overburn yourself with too many, but if you have ones that are essential, essentially tied to your current campaign or the current moment you can have this on the ready because of all the tables so you can roll let's see what's that a d20 so we roll a d20 but let's roll on something flat so we roll a four you cannot see here or any way perceive living creatures within five feet of you so that's what a what now it's what if your character gets cursed then Yeah, the artwork is great in this one. Next we have now we're getting to items. Uh, 
That's a really cool drawing. It's part right here. More scenarios. Another location. But that's most of the book. This extension is equally as impressive as the the quote one to the left. But and there's a closing page with some with some content. But in any event, this is uh, this is my quick little exploration, not a review of these two. Morkborg um, extensions, you know, DLC essentially for for your Morkborg content. Now, like I said, I'm waiting to get Morkborg in very soon. Once I get that in, I'm going to do a full on exploration of it. And I'm I'm just I'm waiting. To, I just cannot wait to try it out because I have Spire, Spireborg and Cyborg, but I'm more intrigued to try the fantasy first before I tackle the other two officially. On camera, that is. Doesn't mean I haven't tried them off camera, but on camera for you guys, the you know the, that's going to be the first one after this little this week a hiatus I've had because of work. So. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and that's pretty much it for this video. Till next time.